side-lying shoulder external rotations. On your elbow, get your shoulders back, set your shoulders in a stable position, knees on top of each other like this, and for the weight, something light, whether it's a lightweight plate like this one, 2.5 pounds, or a dumbbell, up to five pounds, but keep it light. You wanna make sure that you're getting full range of motion with this versus taking a weight so heavy that you can't get to the end. So with your shoulders set, elbow tucked into your side, you'll rotate up to the end range, squeeze, hold, and back down. Up to the end, hold, and back down. So an example rep range for this would be eight repetitions. Slow, make sure to pause at the top, hold for a couple seconds, and down. After eight repetitions, take about 15 seconds rest. And then I want you to do five repetitions where on the fifth rep, you're gonna hold for longer. Really hold and squeeze. Feel that muscle in the back of your shoulder. Get fatigued, squeeze hard, and back down. A couple of tips for this in terms of form. Make sure that your elbow is tucked into your body. You don't want this to be happening. You don't wanna be using your whole shoulder and moving like that. You want your elbow tucked so that only rotation happens through your shoulder and not extension of the arm and other movements. So you really wanna isolate. Sometimes people cheat at the end range where they feel like they wanna get that arm further up high to the ceiling and they start moving their elbow away or rotating their whole arm and rest of your shoulder, just keep the shoulder or the elbow tucked close to the body and you'll only, you only might be able to get that far up. But you wanna make sure that it's only rotation in the shoulder versus movement of the whole arm in different planes. 